black woman, black hips, black kiss, black lips, afro with a black pig, love when you talk that black ish, black man, black fist, black hand, black green light, black 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 schools, black scholars, black doctors, black black designers, black garments, black stage, black performance, black panel, black audience, black mothers, black fathers, black sons, black daughters, black love, black honor. You black today, you gonna be black tomorrow. Black woman, black hips. Yo, why go on your mind? How God was Hey, yo, what's good, son? Peace to God. I can't believe this shit. My word. Get it easy, son. Tell him something, Lord. Raise your hand, son, if you think America tell the truth. Be very deep, see lie with their own sins. Good for the people and I'm good for the youth. You've been a bad boozler since my thoughts. Let me ask the truth. You use your whips and chains, chains, missiles and gun, gun. Poison all the food, mental and suppress everyone. So I will lose in the choosing, even Lauren lost one. Trisaki lost the egg and now it's just a second size. So stay thirsty, portion curse, that will serve me. Red rum on the rocks, prefer drinking jersey. Basking in the shit, magnificent, I sin, see. Traffic put the band on the cocaine, let run free. All the boys. This hiding light from the priest All the boys perception Jesus told some quickly That man should be hung from the sycamore tree But bring these slices all over the body Oh well Yo what we need to do uh -huh. Is go eat some of the drug dealer boy the food scene oh, well. <laughs> Go see a drug dealer Tell your kid got ADD Attention deficit disease And my mate up to me Side effect me cause Headache Fever Leaky discharge So when you take pill from grip No straight for this type of shit in system So no good soul kill Make me more fake Yo, let me cut this track here for a sec, sec. Watch the ill shit connect, now. Pop a will, and the upper spirit killing threat, threat. Don't take that disrespect, eh. No room for the dissent, eh. Fire, ivory, diary, shazam, upon the set, eh. With the newbie in connect, eh. Brown bear, upon some check, check. Brody, all opponents, we run around with that, that, that MCs with the definite. Spasmatical, Versace walls, bring peace to the beast, boom, we direct and act. Step in and cut the check, we want Razzle, you can step. You jerking me, I bust that off, now you can bet at Wolverine, slash metal, supernatural ghetto, soprano, beat up with guitars and sash keys and pianos, I'm a jazz player. Rhythm, blues, rhyme, say the loneliest monk, howling wolf, crusader, stripped of everything and came back up. Like elevators, innovators, art creators, hated by imitators, outdated, indated, indoctrinated with hatred. Caught up in the basic basics, mad pants sag, gotta explain to the youth. Don't do that, it's for the fags and you giving them oof. Wide wine with a ting in mind, pure fuckery where we live. Hard to keep it away from the kids, strive hard and give them something to do. Or your man's homie summer end up bodying you. And this is true facts. Yeah, like the boy Bush with Bill Totani. Go outside and kick the actual factuals. The earth is at. Real shit, man. You know, that's like the big time. Yeah, it's really shiny and shiny and nice, man. Shiny and nice. <laughs> um, I blame the parents. Um and this is really for Demond Wilson, who y'all might know as Lamont Sanford on Sanford and Son. And I was just looking at a, a, a video that they posted over there on Comedy Height. And I've seen him on Comedy Height, you know. I've seen him on Comedy Height for, uh, I think this was like the second time, right? But this one, they're talking about pedophilia in Hollywood, right? And he says he blames the parents. And he's all and he's almost mocking. I wish you could see this video. It's like six minutes and something. He's like, eh, yeah, he's being very condescending and mocking. Eh, this happened to me. I blame the parents. And let, me, and let me say something from my perspective for you who, and we're not talking about the people, the parents that make deals. 
Because in that ignorant box of the way you do, you think because one parent may have sold the child out, all of the parents did it, right? And if I'm not mistaken, I think Usher was saying when he went and lived with Diddy, his mother knew nothing about it. Now, if I'm wrong, correct me. But if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure he said his mother knew nothing about what was going on. And um, it's almost like it's your fault you got molested. And I get what he was trying to tell the brother. He said, your young generation knows nothing about it, knows nothing about the game that y'all are in. He says, y'all know, he says, y'all playing a game that y'all know nothing about. And here's my thing to, to DeMond Wilson, because he was one of the iconic figures. And this is almost like, I hate when people get on their last leg and get kind of tough, right? And what I mean by get on their last leg, because he was talking about like the, the white male patriarchy at the top, the ones that really rule and do those things, they're all men. He said, no women. He said, y'all ready for that smoke? He said, I'm ready for that smoke. But here's my thing to ones that talk like that with that type of insensitivity. How come you ain't been, if you ready for that smoke, how come you ain't went to war? You understand my question? Because it is so, it is so uppity. And it's downright, it's downright insulting and disrespectful to blame all parents. Do some need, do some deserve the blame? Absolutely. And we have this when it comes to, we have this when it comes to Diddy. We have this, well, he was, I, I don't know if Diddy was, yeah, because he, he spent the night with Justin Bieber. We have this when we come to R. Kelly, especially when it comes to him. We have this when it, there are a lot of people that we super duper really revere. It's almost like the pedophile can do nothing, nothing wrong. It's gonna always be, and, and and that and that is the real sick part about this mentality. So far, comedy hype has only dropped that six minutes, so I only have that six minutes to go off. But six minutes of a statement like that is very impactful. There could be more, but the way I've seen him handle, I don't see him just coming around being sensitive. And he says they cry about it. Uh, well, look at what happened to me. That's so effed up, and that's ignorant for real. Because to understand in this stuff, even if, even even if the parents, okay, let's just play the game that 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 people that ones that subscribe to this way of thinking. Let's just say it is the parents, right? Is that okay to do to the children? Hmm. Okay, so we say, okay, now, 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 walk with me, talk with me. We say, if you don't want these roles, walk away. Cool. Okay. If you don't want these NBA contracts, walk away. If you don't want these music contracts, walk away. If you don't want this promotion in the church, because that's really where it goes down a, a, a lot in the church. And we have to think of it. And, and I'm going to come with a lot of stuff from a pedophilic. We have to look into Greco-Roman culture. Right? We have to look into mentor. Right? That's why I always tell people about using the word mentor. And there's just so much, you know, my mom used to always have a saying, and the old old people used to always have a saying, and I could hear my mom saying, you call me old? But they would always say, empty wagons make a lot of noise. And what I'm saying, I'm not saying DeMond Wilson is an empty wagon and knows nothing, but the ignorance he's displaying on that subject right there is sheer ignorance. Now I would like to hear it in more in its entirety to be like, how could you how could you blame a child for what happened to them? How could you say they do it to ourselves? Because see, that's the oppressor's teachings that you do it to yourself. 
Never mind what I've been giving you about Edward Bernays. And his propaganda and how they sway the people's opinion, and how they sway your minds. Never mind that. You always want to. And I was on a live, I was on a brother's live on TikTok. And he had a, I don't know if I talked about this, but he had a screaming head that was on his panel. And the screaming head is going off about how black people is pulling Diddy down. This is the stuff we have to get away from. And I got to kind of get irritated with this. Because I understand more than anybody the way these top dogs and these top wigs play. I understand how these devils at the top play more than anybody. All right? So that's clear. But when you hear people say, oh, they took him down because of this. Oh, they took Diddy down because of this. Oh, they came after such and such because of this. What you are doing is minimizing and showing compassion for monsters. Because nowhere in this and in your spiel do you talk about how when they serve that enemy system, that they served it well. So when they fall, the, the ignorance say black people pulling them down. And this and on this panel, this screaming head was going talking about some, and you could tell this is what I mean when I say the minds are scrambled because the minds are all over the place. One minute they're talking about this, and the next minute they're saying something about this. One minute they're Christians, next minute they're scrambled because they can't keep focus and they can't keep a straight thought. So this screaming head is saying, let's not act like people ain't waited for this day to come. Nobody's been sitting around waiting on Diddy. It's seeing, it's seeing the obvious. It's seeing that if I take some scissors and stick it into an electrical socket, what is going to be the outcome? Nobody wanted to see me, was waiting on my downfall and waiting on that. It is the inevitable because of the behavior and because of the act that I did. And so I said to that person that was building up a case of because this is what we this is what we're stuck on, right? We're stuck on black representation, right? We're stuck on Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, Diddy, Jay Z. All these guys who look like they have something or they look like and all that does keep you all that does keep you connected to this earthly to this earthly plane. All they do is put that up there. That's why they say you have to be almost a needle in a haystack for you to make it. Because they put those stars up there for something you to admire, for something to you to aspire to. The model. Albert Bandura, the role model. So after all these times when they have been molesting, they have been backbiting, they have been blocking doors, they have been doing all of this. Now when they fall, we say the black community took them down. And then and, and 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 then we are supposed to feel this compassion. I don't feel compassion for nobody that violates anybody. We're so dismissive. This is why we can't get along. This is why we can't grow. Because we're dismissive to what happened to people in their past. And we tell them, oh, get over it. We're so dismissive to childhood trauma that grows into adult trauma. We're so dismissive. 
We're so dismissive to say, well, if you're going to get them, you might as well get everybody. If y'all going to get that person, you might as well. I don't have time to look for every snake in the garden. Yeah, I do. I take that back. That's not that's not a good that's not a good analogy because you got snakes in the garden. You do want to find all the snakes. <laughs> but what I'm saying is I don't have time to look for every single person. Because who do you blame when you send your child to a vacation Bible school and the pastor molested and the pastor molested them? Oh, that's on the child too. Because y'all forget how this cycle of this earth really goes. The parents are most of the parents are so overworked that they don't have time to be with their children. Y'all forget how they broke us. So you acting like the parents, all of the parents, I'm not saying not any of them. Y'all act like every single parent put their child in that position. So does that mean, now, now, and before I, before I end it, so does that mean we should just stop entertainment altogether? Because what are y'all going to watch? What are we going to watch? If we stop baseball, basketball, football, Boxing, because these devils are all in all of these entertainment. One of the nine areas of people activity that none of Francis Chris Wilson was telling y'all about. But y'all intellectualize what she's saying. So if you stop entertainment, you stop economics. That's another one. This stuff is happening everywhere. This stuff happens in the army. What was that sister name? I think her name was Lavinia Johnson. I think that was her name. And if I'm wrong, I will correct it in my next video. But I'm pretty sure. Now, like I always say, if you know what I'm talking about, correct me in the comments. I'm not above correcting. And the way she was savagely done, did she deserve that too? Now, she's an adult, but what I'm talking about is the victim blame. If somebody hurt your child, you who listening to this video, if somebody hurt your child and you was at work working hard and the first thing they ask you, where were you? I'm not saying it's not a valid question, but they begin to attack you and you're making a living for your family. How would you feel? How would you feel? If, um, what's that sick freak name? Uh, Larry Nacer. I think I talked about him in another video. Who was the gymnast? Uh, I think was he the was he the doctor or was he the? I think I think I think yeah, because he used to examine the girls. Larry Nacer. So should you not put your doors in gymnastics? Should you not should you not put your your sons in boxing? There's a movie called Sleepers. It has Kevin Bacon in it. It has Kevin Bacon, um, Jason Patrick, who played in The Lost Boys. And I want y'all to check that movie out. The only safe way to keep it from happening outside of the house like that, because we're not even going to talk about what happens inside the family, is to keep them out or stay with them 24 hours. But I just want to say that because I think that's like real effed up, seriously. I think that's real effed up. I think we have to look at everything from a, a at a, a at an objective lens, but I think also we're so like I said we're so quick to lose our compassion 
with, with, with the wrong things. I'm not built like that. I got grands. I'll discuss where the parents was later. But your first thing is dealing with the person that hurt your child. It should be. I, you, as an adult, your first mindset should be to deal with the person that committed the act. Not come down on the person that was violated. And that's what I said. This, that, and that's what I said to the screaming head on that panel. I said it's mighty funny that y'all he opens up and he says all of this stuff about we've been waiting on Diddy to fall and we're doing this. And I said, and oh, oh, this was the point. He said they trained our mind. To always see a black man or your people as guilty. All right? Mm -hmm. So I countered and asked, I said, why is it that we always see the accused as innocent? And we always say the accuser is a liar. Okay, what it is. Then we start saying stupid stuff like, y'all just jealous. Because personality worship is a real thing. The, the, the transfer portal for Colorado, and keep your eye on Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders already showed you he'll sell his people out, regardless of how y'all feel. He used the people of Jackson, Mississippi as a stepping stone. So when these children are, when these young boys, young men are complaining about the treatment on this campus, adults can't listen because y'all can't distinguish between Coach Prime. This is why the youth don't respect the, 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 the older generation. Because if it's your favorite athlete, I read some disgusting comments. And I knew that, that young man, Carmine McLean, was going to hit the transfer port. And then to turn around and see uh, their running back hit the transfer port. His only worry is his sons and Travis Hunter. Right? But in your personality worship, much like with these molesters, when children are saying something all around the board, when Monique's son came out and said, in response to what she said on Shannon Sharp's show, I read some of the most disgusting comments from adults. How long are you going to carry a grown man? He too grown to want some money. This, that young man said nothing about money. That young man talked about love. But because y'all love these personalities, y'all build up a whole sentence in a conversation that was never had. Personality worship. Stop worshiping these people. Because this is just my saying. Who's the opinion? Who's the opinion? My opinion. That when you say, I don't care what R. Kelly did, I'm still going to, and that's your right. Now listen, listen, that is your right. But when you dismiss it and say, I don't care what he did, do you know what you're dismissing? And to a certain degree, you sound like the parent that will sell out your child for music. Hmm? Because you say, I'm more interested in an album. These people were lying anyway. Oh, well, uh, and, and, and then you go to cherry picking, much like they do with the, uh, with, with the slave massacre. I don't like to say slave trade. Well, how you get all of this stuff on the boat and transfer all the people? Ideological subversion. To make you forget the most horrific thing. Y'all love to do culture comparisons? Show me where... Two Jews will sit up there and say their Holocaust never happened. And if it did, it didn't happen to that degree. How they going to get all them people? How Hitler get all them people in there? 
Mind control is a mug. Y'all better, y'all better understand what I'm trying to share when I'm talking about propaganda. When I'm talking about Edward Bernays. When I'm talking about B.F. Skinner. John B. Watson. Who were these people? It is sickening. And it bothers my soul when I hear stuff like this. And now, if you, if, if you don't want to defend that, just say that. Just say, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm rocking with it, but don't. It's always the extra. I can't tell you what to play at your party. You can't tell me what to play at mine. I can't tell you what to accept. You can't tell me what to accept. Learning to have differences. Arguments only happen with, with different, different views. As long as people are agreeing on the same page, you ain't gonna have no, you're gonna have no quarrel. It's not to the moment till you have a different perspective. Negative, positive and negative, left and right. But I just wanted to share that, and that's disheartening to hear. It's, and I think it was just, eh, what happened to me? This happened. That's so effed up. Teach these young people how to avoid this the, the, the downfall. If you know all of this stuff, Demond Wilson, and you say, hey, they don't want no smoke with you, you teach the young generation. That's what's wrong with the old heads. They want to be revered. They want to be respected for what they for their tenure and their time on this earth. They got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years, and they just want to be respected because of that. But they respect you putting that time in with them. The youngers respect you in opening up your doors to talk with them. Not sit from your high and mighty standpoint and talk about what happened to them. And how it didn't happen to you because you were so high and mighty that it didn't happen to you. I don't know who did what, but I know a traumatized person. Hey. Trauma is trauma, y'all. But that's all my time. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go too long. But I just wanted to share that opinion and y'all let me know what y'all like. Again, this is never nothing personal, but it's personal to my heart. I will say that this is never about anybody personal. I always say that. I said in my last video. Because that's something we have to also remo remove. The feeling a way. <laughs> but um, that's all my time. Um, and I hope the people over at Comedy Height would see this because I would love to have a conversation with Demar Wilson. And just really, but he seems like he has that old grouchy energy where he's kind of, he's very condescending. Check the interview out yourselves. That's my interpretation. So I don't know, but we just got to think better about what comes out of our mouth with people's trauma. You know what I'm saying? Peace. Black woman, black hips, black kiss, black lips, afro with a black pig. Love when you talk that black ish. Black man, black fist, black cat, black grip, backlashed on a black list. Still gonna talk that black ish. Black man.